Zara Dilling from Germany and Alicia Gugu from Kenya share a passion for indigenous African leafy vegetables. These Af African plants are very interesting because of their high nutritive value. Like for example, the African kale has got high content of glucosinolase, which is a very good antioxidant in the body. And also likewise to the, the African nightshade. It's also very good in uh, flavonoids and uh, iron content. And then there's amaranth. The seeds and the leaves are edible, and they're also rich in protein and iron. The plants can survive with very little, as Zara Dilling has proven in this greenhouse in Berlin. She grows various types of amaranth here, in conditions that simulate the African environment. These are the amaranth plants I'm testing. I keep them at 15 to 25 percent of their water holding capacity. You can see how well the leaves develop even with a minimal water intake. Down here they're a bit dry, but at the top the plants look amazingly healthy. This wouldn't be possible at all with something like corn, which needs a lot more water. In many regions, corn and other foreign plants have taken the place of indigenous vegetables. Together, scientists in Germany, Kenya and Tanzania are researching ways to change that. As a horticulture expert, Elisha Gogol has already been helping farmers in his home country of Kenya. He realized one of the main problems is the loss of plants after harvest and he's looking for solutions here at the Humboldt University of Berlin. The problem here is that there is lump sum packaging of these vegetables. And remember, these are fresh vegetables, so it means that they are respiring. So down here, what is happening at the bottom is there's a lot of respiration. And this, because of the ambient conditions, which is about 20 degrees Celsius, these vegetables, most of them go into waste. He's testing alternative packaging in this environmental chamber at the university. He can regulate the temperature and humidity. Together with Zara Dilling, he then investigates in the lab how the different climate conditions affect the vegetables. They dissolve the leaves to see how much of the nutritious content is left after they've been harvested, transported and stored. Which packaging best protects the flavonoids and nutrients? The results from the amaranth plant are plain to see. When you uh, packaging, for example, you saw packaging like this, as opposed to the, big, uh, the bigger bags that I earlier showed you, the gunny bags. This kind of packaging material will help in the preserving the, the nutrient contents. Alicia Gogo's research also shows that exposing the vegetables to additional UV light after harvesting increases their shelf life. He wants to research this point further. Humboldt University's expertise and technical equipment help him in his research like this high-performance liquid chromatography machine. Oh, it's uh, very sophisticated and really very expensive. And that is why I had to come here to learn how to extract and uh, use it for analysis of uh, flavonoids and uh, phenolic acids. The international research project has given the plants a new lease of life. Their reputation has been changing in Africa for some years. Once considered food for the poor, they're now a fashionable superfood. Oh my, my favorite dish is um, a mix of amaranth together with the African nightshade and uh, with ugali. Ugali is a very common, uh, a very common meal in Kenya and uh, this is a delicacy. Well, I've been cooking the amaranth, the leaves of it, um, and it was delicious. It's similar to spinach. If you just put a little bit of melted butter and a bit of salt, then it's just uh, heaven. <laughs> Healthy, tasty and easy to grow. Researchers are enamored with these African vegetables and want to spread the word to the masses.